Hello my students, this is the science exam review worksheet for gate 5, semester 1 at the International School of Innovation. Let's start with some notes about light. All of you know that light travels in a straight line and not in a wavy line. So light travels or moves in a straight line, meaning that light propagates in a straight line. As we all know, Light is a form of energy that can travel through space. Light is produced by luminous objects. Example about these luminous objects, candle, lamps, and stars. Example about our sun. The light that we see from the sun is a white light. What is the function of the prism? The prism breaks the white light into its seven basic colors. These are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These seven colors are called the visible light spectrum. The visible light spectrum. How are rainbows formed? Rainbows mainly are caused by the shining of the sunlight through drops of water. Here, in this case, drops of water, they act as a prism. They break the white light from the sun into its seven basic colors, which are the violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. When the light hits an object, it may be reflected, it may be absorbed, or maybe it's transmitted. Reflected meaning that it bounces back, absorbed, it's absorbed, transmitted, it can pass through. What is reflection? Reflection, the bouncing of light off a surface. Whenever a light hits a surface and bounces back, this is called reflection. So be careful to differentiate between reflection and refraction. So the bouncing of light of a surface is called reflection. Light reflect from a smooth surface in the same direction, meaning that they reflect in the same direction, causing a clear image to be formed. This is from a smooth. While the opposite is true, light reflects from a rough surface in many direction, so that a wavy image or maybe no image will be formed. Example about this, this is the rough surface. Imagine this is the rough surface. Here they move like this and they enter, intermingle together. So this is a rough surface. So what's the difference between a smooth and a rough? A smooth surface, whenever the light reflects from a smooth surface, it reflects in the same direction, causing a clear image. Why? Light from a rough surface reflects in many directions, causing maybe a wavy image or in some cases there is no image. In this case, whenever we have reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is an important note, you have to know it, that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Moving to the types of objects, we have three types. We have something called opaque objects. Opaque objects, these objects completely black. They don't allow light to pass through them. Example about this, a piece of wood. This is an opaque object. It doesn't allow the light to pass through it. While we have transparent. Transparent objects, they allow the light to pass through them with almost no disturbance, they pass without any disturbance. You can see clearly through transparent objects. Example about this, glass is a transparent, you can see clearly. And light can pass through them perfectly well. Also, we have water is an example about transparent. Translucent object, these objects allow only a part of the light to pass through them. While other light they bounce off their surface. Example about this wax paper is an example about translucent objects. 
light rays bend as they move from one medium to another example about this here we have a medium light rays whenever they move they bend bending of light whenever it hits a medium or it move from one medium to another this is called refraction of light there's a difference between reflection and refraction reflection is the bouncing of light of a surface is called reflection why the refraction here is the bending of light as it moves for example from one medium which is air to another medium for example let's say water so light bends it breaks down when it moves from one medium to another this is called a refraction of light so you have to know the difference between refraction of light and reflection so refraction is the bending of light as it moves from one medium to another this is the refraction of light while reflection of light is the bouncing of light of a surface is called reflection what is a lens or if i ask you in the exam define a lens or give the definition of a lens what is a lens a lens is a piece of transparent material with a curved surface that uses the reflection of light to make images we have two types of lenses number one is called the convex number two is called the concave what are convex lenses convex lenses they form images by refracting light rays together meaning that here we have a lens imagine this is a convex lens okay light rays we have these rays one two three and this is the direction of the rays they meet at the same point they are reflected together at the same point the light rays they refract light ray together this refraction of light rays together this is called convergence of light if you see here to know which lens make convergence and which lens makes another phenomena which is called divergence let's continue with convex convex we form images by refracting light rays together this refraction of light rays together this is called convergence of light the size and the position depend on how far is the object from the lens the image is usually bigger than the object moving to the second type it's called concave lens imagine this is a concave lens concave lens they refract light rays apart meaning that every light ray is going to move in a direction this one this two this is three everyone is moving in a different direction so this phenomena we call it divergence of light so in order to not be confused which one goes convergence which one goes divergence we have two types of lenses convex and concave convex it start with c o n v e conve this conve this is conve so convex convergence while concave simply it's divergence so convey convex convey convergence so convex lens they allow light rays to refract in a specific region and meet together this is called convergence so convex convergence while concave refract light rays apart this is called divergence okay this is the image of the reflection of light this ray is called the incident ray this is the ray called incident ray or even they call it light ray but i want you to say incident ray this angle angle a is called angle of incidence here we have this ray this ray is called the reflected ray reflected ray and this angle is called angle of reflection and this line this is called the straight line is called a normal and here we have the mirror 
So and this figure, this figure represent what? Represent which phenomena? Reflection of light. So angle of incidence, angle of reflection. A is the angle of incidence. B is the angle of reflection. Here we have the incident ray. This is the direction light is coming through this pathway. Okay, this is the direction of the light. And this code reflected ray. Be careful. What can you say about the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection? They are equal. So angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Let's start with the first question. Indicate the true statement or statements and correct the false one or ones. Number one, the convex lens forms images by refracting light rays together. Light rays, sorry, light rays apart. Convex lens form images by refracting light rays apart. This is sure false. Convex lens form images by refracting light rays together. Convex lens forms images by Refracting light rays together. What do we call the refraction of light rays together? It's called convergence of light. Or you can correct it in another way. You can say false. The concave lens forms images by refracting light rays upward. Crossing using objects block light rays from passing through. This is false. Why? Because not translucent, they are opaque objects. Opaque objects. Lock. Light rays. From passing through. The light rays move in a wavy direction. Sure, this is false. The light rays move in a straight line or in a straight direction or in one direction which is straight line. The light rays move in a straight line. Or you can say the light rays propagate in a straight line. Okay? For the white color absorbs all the colors and reflects none this is false which color the black color absorbs all the colors and reflects Let's continue with question number two. Question number two, C. Circle the letter of the best answer. Angle of incidence is greater than the angle of reflection, less than the angle of reflection, equal to the angle of reflection. Sure, it's C. It's equal to the angle of reflection. Substances or objects that allow light to pass through them perfectly well with no disturbance are called translucent, transparent, or opaque. Sure, they are called transparent, so this is B. The bending of light as it moves from one medium to another is called refraction, reflection, incident ray, bending of light. This is called refraction. This is A. For when the light rays refract apart, this is called convex of light. Don't have anything called convex of light. Convergence of light. Divergence, they refract apart. Each one gives in a direction. This is called divergence of light. If you stand two meters away from a flat mirror, how far away you would your image be in the mirror? Three meters, two meters, four meters. You are standing away from a flat mirror, two meters away. How far will your object be, your image be? Sure, it will be two meters, so this is B. Question number three. A lit candle is placed on a table. The person is looking at the candle with a lung pipe. This is the lung pipe. Does the light of the candle reach his eye? 
y. This one is a straight pipe. So sure, yes. Why? Since the pipe is straight. And you have to say here, and the light path is, the light moves in a straight, in a straight line. That's why the objects of the light will reach the eye of this man, since the light passes through a straight line, so the light can pass like the straight line toward the eyes of the man. Okay? For we have two lenses. Indicate which lens is the concave and which lens is the convex. Which one of these causes convergence of light? This lens. So this lens causes convergence of light. As we said before, convergence of light. Con V. So this one is convex. While this lens causes a light rays to refract apart. Everyone is going in a direction. If you see here, everyone is going in a different direction. This is called divergence of light. Divergence of light. This is what? Concave. Okay, so you have to say, since this lens, let's say this lens A and this lens B. Since lens A causes light rays to move in a one direction and meet in a specific point, so it causes convergence of light. This lens is convex lens. Why? Lens B refracts light rays apart. This is called divergence of light. So lens B is concave. Moving to the later one. This ray is called what? It's called the incident ray. This angle, this arrow is moving to this angle. So this angle is called angle of incidence. This is where light reflects. What do we call it? We call it the mirror. This angle, this angle of incidence, this angle is called angle of reflection. What do we call this ray? Light move from an incident ray is called the reflected ray. And this vertical line is called the for example, if I told you you have to give a title for this figure, what is the title of this figure? Or what is the phenomena shown in this figure? You have to say simply reflection of light. This is the title of this figure, reflection of light. This figure shows reflection of light. For example, if I ask you what can you say about the angles I and R, these angles, what can you say about these two angles? You have to say these angles, they are equal. Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Okay? Good luck, guys.